Welcome back to Balvikan Bharti and uh, this is your mentor Avilash Sarkar. Now the chapter we will start today is a chapter in mathematics that is uh, also being used in other part of the science you can say physics or any other subjects you can know in statistics they are also being used and this is helpful well uh, number of uh, number of datas are uh, more uh, that you cannot able to uh, solve it uh, uh, in a simpler way that would cause you uh, very rigorous uh, calculation so there this kind of uh, uh, subject or the concept is very much useful so if i explain it uh, what is a matrix actually so uh, simpler way you can say the subject is called matrix and this is uh, the singular number in in plural number means if the more number of matrix are there so these are called matrices okay so this is singular this is plural and definition uh, the simpler definition there could be so many of definitions so i could say uh, if the data or data are arranged or array arranged or array in a rectangular form in inside a uh, specific Uh, specific boundary is called matrix. Okay, so now uh, this is not uh, you can say a, a boundary uh, that to uh, just. Uh, clarify the range of or the or the limit of the uh, data is being uh, being taken in, in into a matrix so that means uh, in a general uh, uh, form if i say that uh, how do i represent a matrix that is the if there are several data let's say that could be any data whether it is a numerical Uh, numerical or say alphabetic alphabetic kind of data that is being taken and kept in a form of a rectangle form uh, and that being covered with a boundary so this is called a matrix so matrix is always represented with a capital letter let's say an representing a matrix with a and this equals and this boundary what i am talking about is represented by this third bracket or or it could be represented by a first bracket kind of thing okay and the datas are presented with a notation of a i j let's say so what aij i will tell you and the order of the matrix let's say i am talking about m and n okay so this way so this is not the only term this could be this is the general notation of the uh, of the data is kept inside this this is a generalized uh, representation the other terms are similarly can be represented if i take uh, this as some numeric values 
this also some numeric values has to be represented now what is what could be the value of this that i will explain and similarly this also can be represented within this bracket and the similar fashion we can represent so these are the two representation where matrix is represented with the capital letter elements uh, means the data can be represented inside the matrix as the small letters with some suffix uh, afterwards okay and this the uh, the matrix also having some suffix at the end and the uh, right bottom okay now what is the significance of these terms that i will tell you so as i said the matrix is is represented with a capital letter followed by i am taking the first choice of the bracket okay now this is represented by ij and there some suffix m into n okay so now first come to this m at the number of rows i will tell you what is rows and n is number of column okay so any horizontal arrangement of the data are called rows any vertical arrangement if i see these are called columns okay to understand so horizontal arrangements are called rows vertical arrangements are called uh column so that means if there is m number of rows so that means if i take count of the rows so if i count 1 2 3 that would that would be m rows and if i count the number of columns vertically that will be this much of column so in every segment of the count of first column and first row there would be a if i say the h subset one is containing a, a data so this is having one position of the data okay now this each data what i am saying each data place data placed are called element or entry so this can be called as element or entry okay so this ai ai as a generalized form these are called elements or entry so each uh, each cut point of rows and columns will carry one entry and that will that will go till the last point where the last row and the last uh, column will intersect each other fine so now how that i the generally is representation of aij how will vary now you understand that it will start from that any value will start from one because this is the first position of row and column and j also start from one how long it will vary because i represent the i represent the uh, ith i represent the ith row this is the position of the row the first suffix of the two will represent the ith row and this represent the jth column so this aij is called the element element at ith row and jth column so this would be the general representation of the element or the entry so any position if i say a 5 6 so this will represent 1 2 3 4 5 5 as this has been drawn 1 2 3 4 5 6 so if the matrix of that 
the highest value is m and n if it is 5 and 6 so this is the last position of this okay and similarly the if i say the first position where i value will be and what i'm saying the number of rows will vary from i to the rows is maximum can come to uh, mth value because this is having uh, m cross n kind of matrix that means there will be maximum m row and n column so i can vary from i 1 to maximum n m and this could vary the maximum of because the maximum number of rows is m maximum number of column is m and this is called the order of the matrix order so an order will represent so if i say the matrix a is m by n order so this is the generalized statement where we will represent a matrix a matrix a a matrix a is m by n order so that means the row will first come and the column so this is the representation of uh, the matrix in terms of rows maximum number of rows by maximum number of columns so this is the generalized representation of the matrix okay so now if it is so how could i represent this matrix as a whole if i say what could be the terms and how it is look like it will look like something look like something mm. as i move towards right in the horizontal line what value of i and j will increase the increment will be the column value because this way we are moving in the same row so that means the first one will not vary the second one will vary from one let's say i am going to right so that second value is the j value will increase because column we are moving towards column i am moving so this will vary like this until the last value will be 1 and the number of column maximum is n so this will be like that now the same thing if i move down we will vary vary the first suffix that means we are varying the row because we are moving horizontally uh, vertically down so there this value in a same column the column number will not vary rather the row will vary until the maximum number of rows m and 1 and same if i move the second one so this will vary to 2 2 3 2 dot 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 a m 2 and if i move in so this will be the my maximum and that will be denoted by this okay so this will be the case so this will be the general representation of of any matrix and there i could write this one so this is the matrix as a whole while we represent a matrix understood so what are the terms these are called element or entry this is a matrix representation this is the bracket this is the order of this and this is the individual element being represented with their suffix according to the uh, row and column number understood okay so now next If I uh, want to represent any data, let's say in a practical example, we are having variable of, let's say there are house number one, the three house we are 
uh, we have identified and there the common elements that may are uh, possible the number of resident number of tv available number of what is the vehicle available you say and we, that is being tabulated in a form of housing number over number of resident let's say six tv is let's say two vehicle let's say two house number two number of member is four tv one and vehicle let's say three including all kind of vehicle and saying okay and there number of house the number of people is two tv is one and vehicle also one so now if i represent in the in the matrix form let's say this this will represent a matrix and the data can accordingly be represented in this form okay to get a complete picture of the total data so this could be one example or let's say we are having uh, equations linear equation let's say 2x plus 3y plus 4z that is equal to 1 x minus 5y minus 2z is equal to let's say 10 uh, let's say this value is around 20 let's say and 3x plus 2y minus z equal to uh, let's say 12 so now this can also be represented in matrix if i say the equation has to be represented in matrix so what we'll do we'll get this kind of matrix where this can be represented as with three matrix what are those the uh, the coefficient of the variable because we are assuming x y and z are variables and these are their constants so the constants can be <coughs> kept inside one bracket and the variable can be represented x y z form and this case 1 minus 5 minus 2 this will come with the along with the sign okay and this is 3 2 minus 1 and the result is 20 10 okay so this x is coming in 3 so i am putting it 3 Okay, so these values you see accordingly, it's following the columns two, one. So and this also following columns. So the here three columns, so three columns. Here only x, y, z is varying the same. So I need not to put every time. So I am putting x, y, z, and this is the value is coming once. So it's coming. So this equation as a whole can be represented with this. And now with the sum method, we will learn more about the matrix. we can solve from this so these are the case now in this case matrix is very useful in the one shot you can get the value whereas in this case you have to take elimination method and replacement method to get all x y z so here so now 3 can also be handled but if you go more in this case where variables are more than 3 4 5 6 and so in that case how will go on so that will be a very cumbersome and very lengthy process to solve but whereas if you use that at once you will get the result so these are the uh, facility of knowing matrix as a whole okay so these are the representation of matrix or matrices so now the next topic that yeah so equality equality of matrix so uh, the terms you already understand what i am going to tell equality of matrix means if say there are two matrix a and b 
that represent two matrices and this are equal but this is equal only subjected to some condition so what are the conditions order of both must be same so that means what i have taught earlier the m into n the order which says number of rows and number of columns in this case order means both the number of rows and number of column must be same for both the case so that means m cross n has to be same second all element all elements or entry entries must be same so there you can understand the two matrices must be identical as a whole you can say so if i take an example of 2 0 1 6 2 3 one matrix so their order is what is the order number of rows 2 number of columns is the 2 into 3 so if it is represented by a and b is another 2 0 1 6 2 that has to be completely identical so that means the order is same and the each element if i say according to the position those has to be same so then only we can say the matrix are equal so that is the equality of matrix understood this are simple uh, things but sometime it uh, may needed when you will solve some uh, numerical so uh, small small things has to be uh, Uh, has to be described so that the later stage when we we'll do a uh, numerical problem uh, you should not be confused okay now we'll talk about the uh, types of matrix we'll talk about types of matrix so there are several kind of matrix one by one we'll discuss the first one is the row matrix row matrix row matrix is that where there is only one row of data or element one row of elements so then is called say for example if i say a is a matrix and that is when number of terms of only 2 3 5 6 1 so there are so many of columns but only one row so 1 into 1 2 3 4 5 this is of this order 1 cross 5 okay so this is called row matrix the second one is just the companion of that that is column matrix so as you can automatically understand if b is a, a is a matrix so this will hold only one column so let's say 2 3 5 6 1 so this is the order of five rows one column so when there is only one column so that is called the column matrix so a few more are there i will discuss in the next class uh, uh, today i will stop up to this okay so this needs uh, some time because uh, it's a is a lengthy chapter and there are some uh, derivations also uh, where we have to understand better so i will go a bit slow is a new subject totally and there is no link in other other subjects till now we have uh, discussed so i will take some time and uh, be patient uh, but this is a good subject okay so the practical uh, correlations with other subjects also 
I will try to give you so that usefulness you can understand better. So thank you for now.